Yo, what's up everybody? It's Michael Beardsley and today we are doing a high ball taper fade. Now my client today has very strong, thick, straight hair. He likes the crown short and shaped down. Therefore, we are not trying to save the colics. We are going to shape them. First, we're gonna start with the top and I'm gonna do this in horizontal sections, starting with the bangs and then going from long to short all the way back. Next, we're gonna work on the fringe. My client wants his bangs just above the eyebrow. Using the pull and cut method, we're gonna focus on individual hairs, cutting the hair in a slide motion and not a chop to create texture. Next, I'm gonna blow dry the hair, removing all the loose hairs that got caught in between. And I don't want my client sitting with wet hair and I want a dry surface when I'm fading. demarcation. This is going to be a high taper. So I'm going to use my Babyliss skeleton trimmers and I'm going to use just the corner to create this line. Now the reason for this is I don't want to put the line in too harsh because then it becomes more difficult to remove. If you can develop the skill to put in the line of demarcation while also fading with a flick of a wrist or an up and out motion, this will make all of your blends go quicker and much more smooth. Now we use our Pro Foil FX and bald it out. Now the one guard on the metal wall seniors to debulk. Next is the half guard so we can remove that line of demarcation. Remember this wall senior is closed. Fading up, so we're gonna grab the one and a half and remove that number one that we used to deep ball. Use 
using the number two guard, we're gonna blend this ridge into the top. Now I know it's redundant seeing me do clipper over comb each video, but still, even after doing all these guards, I like to come through clipper over comb and really put in the finer details into this cut. blending shears I'm going to point cut some of the areas in the fade that are clumping up that way I get an even texture throughout the entire fade now I'm going to use my trimmers to shape the front profile inwards remember what I talked about at the beginning we're going to shape his colics instead of saving them here's an example of that start in the middle, moving to each corner without pushing his line back. When lining up the sidebars, I like to use the eyebrows as a guide. That way I can reference this for the other side. After I'm doing a lineup, I always like to finish with a razor, going against the grain and upwards towards their line. Using hair fibers and a business card, I'm going to enhance this lineup. Using the matte paste by Statement, I'm going to style his hair, starting in the back and massaging my way to the front, getting deep into the roots. Now that's a high 